Kevin Bittenbender's tattoos tell a painful and familiar story. Friends lost in battle. Uh, about seven years ago, uh, I had my first amputation. And uh, from my first amputation, uh, I fell into a very dark, dark spot. The war that took his friends has slowly taken his left leg. Kevin says he considered suicide. Then he got a gift. I was gifted a hand cycle and uh, from Hope for the Warriors. And um, that perpetuated me into hand cycling the Pittsburgh Marathon. Uh, fast forward last year, um, I had my leg amputated as a result of uh, burn pit exposure. Before he started training to run the Pittsburgh Marathon, he hand cycled it. I said to her, I said, well, next year I want to run it. And uh, she's like, well, that's a, a lofty goal. And I said, well, why don't you run it with me? And so she's going to run it with me this year uh, as part of uh, my support system. Nice to meet you. Kevin received Kirby from America's Vet Dogs. Sunday will mark 444 days since his amputation. Kirby allows me to, um, to deal with that on a whole different level to where I'm more comforted. Um, he senses where I have some of the anxiety to where, you know, he, he, he just knows. His motto written in each one of his prosthetics. You're not alone. You know, uh, I've been there. I'm in that hole at times, and uh, it takes a lot to get out of that hole. But um, the biggest thing is to you know, find that purpose, that passion, and part of something bigger than yourself and get involved in something. His surgeon, his doctor, is running with him in the marathon. Now, Kevin is running to raise awareness for America's Vet Dogs, which raises and trains service dogs for veterans and first responders, and Hope for the Warriors. Details about both of those organizations are on the WTAE app and WTAE.com.